Hey guys, it's day 167 of our deep water culture hydroponic pepper grow. And initially, like we talked about when we bought these, we thought they were Carolina Reaper seeds. The vendor had awesome reviews. And so far, the first wave of pods did not look very much like Carolina Reapers. Now they are very hot. They're the hottest pepper I've ever eaten. And I will have a video up of me eating one soon. But for right now, we're still not 100% sure what they are or if they are indeed Carolina Reapers and they're just gonna change as they keep growing. So once we get that, we'll, ref we'll change all the titles accordingly. But anyway, moving on, just figured we'd show some of the peppers that are coming in and it's getting too big for <laughs> the filming backdrop that we have, so we have to come up with something else. But here's one of the first pods, and this is actually what I'm going to be eating here in a little bit. And there's still tons of flowers. But as you've seen in the other videos, the root system on this thing is just gigantic, and the plant itself is gigantic. So what we decided to do is take it out of our system over here, which we have the light up here and the bucket down there sitting on the grate. And I took my Mars Hydro LED and suspended it from the ceiling. Hopefully that doesn't give way. And for craps and giggles, seeing we're not sure what this is and we have nothing to lose, we're gonna see how big we can grow this and how many peppers we can produce off of it. We're still using the three-part general hydroponic mix and we're using what the directions say for the uh, for blue or for fruit and like we said ever since we did that the fruit is developed like crazy every day I come in again and I'll take my finger and just do tickle the blossoms and we have peppers all over in here it's kind of hard for the camera to pick it up and me not damage this plant because it's so heavy like I'm afraid it's gonna fall over it's it's probably as thick as a quarter and it, it seems like it wants to go. In short, we'll keep doing updates as we produce more fruit or if it changes or anything with the, um, the nutrients change, but we'll probably slow down on the updates on this and then we'll just let it, we'll let it see how big it can get. And throughout the weeks, I'll take pictures of it and put it on the next update. Um, if you have any questions, just ask below and like I said, as soon as we figure out what these are for sure, we'll let everybody know. As always, like and subscribe, check out our other videos, and until next time, we'll talk to you later.